we've had one of those summers across a lot of Oklahoma where we've had adequate moisture and grown a lot of grass and therefore ranchers have put up quite a little bit of hay to feed the cows this winter. Knowing what's in that hay is so very, very important as we uh, develop our strategy as far as winter supplementation of our beef cows that are going to be consuming that hay through the fall and winter months. The quality of the hay can really determine how much supplementation we need to feed. Take a look at this table. What we're looking at here is the amount of a high protein supplement, something that's 40 percent or better in terms of crude protein, how much of that in terms of pounds per day these cows need in order to meet their protein needs, you'll see quite a change in uh, the, the needs uh, depending upon the quality of the hay that those cows are consuming. For instance, if you look at those uh, dry cows here mid-gestation in the fall, uh, early winter months, if they're consuming that real low quality grass hay of only about 4%, they need over a couple of pounds of the supplement to meet their protein needs. Whereas the cow getting the moderate uh, quality hay, 6%, need half as much of that protein supplement to meet their needs. And those getting the real high quality hay really can get by on just the hay alone if that makes up the, the majority of their diet. Let's drop down and look at what happens after the cow calves and she's in early lactation. Again, you see a huge difference in the amount of the protein supplement that they need if they're consuming the real low quality hay. It takes 4.7 pounds of that 40% supplement to meet the protein needs of that 1,100 pound lactating cow as compared to only about one third as much, one and a half pounds of 40% for the cow that's consuming the high quality hay. So I would really suggest that you take time and a little bit of money to have your hay tested. Find out how much protein is in your grass hay uh, this fall so that you can match the protein supplement program up to the quality of the hay. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about getting hay samples, getting them tested, what the test means, go to the SUNUP website. That's sunup.okstate.edu. Look under show links and there we'll have a, a link to uh, a fact sheet that'll tell you a lot about how to properly sample the hay, send that sample off and find out how, what's in your hay this fall and this winter. We hope you'll do that. I think it'll help you save some supplement money and get those cows properly fed as they go through this winter. And we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.